Hello internet, welcome back, welcome to my channel. My name is Tori and today I have the what would be in my Sephora fantasy checkout cart for a thousand dollars if I had a somehow got a thousand dollars that I could only spend on makeup, what would I buy? I'm gonna do a little screen recording and put it up here. Um, and let's jump into it. So my order is not exactly a thousand because it originally was over a thousand and I had an item in there that was a mini and I was like it doesn't really need to be in there so I took it out and we're keeping it at this this is created by Emily Noel uh, she'll be listed down below a bunch of other people are doing this I was finally inspired by Butte Bean to do this um, so here it is so I started with what was generally in my favorites to begin with um, and then went off of that. So the first item is the Becca Cosmetics Highlighter in Prismatic Amethyst. This has been on my wish list. This is my oldest item on my wish list. I love purple highlighters. Um, I don't technically need it right now because this is probably a dupe for um, the ColourPop Disney collection when they did the highlighter with Megara. This is probably, they're probably the same color. So I don't need both of them right now, but um, I want it. I like purple. Um, I did that TikTok thing where you dye your front bangs. It's a skunk stripe. I've had one before, but this one is so much better. Anyway, um, the next thing is from Milk Makeup, a, a brand that I don't support that much because I honestly forget about them because I can only really get them from Sephora. I don't tend to buy from brand sites. So um, I want the tattoo stamp. That's a star. I love stars. Um, this is another purchase that eventually I'll ask for it and get it. Um, I would totally rock a star here every time I film if I had that. So, um, you know, I would do it. Next is from Fenty and it's the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter. It's the one that's like the girl next door in the chic whatever. I can't see the rest of the name on the screen. The pretty basic one just to try it. Um, the the color stories, like the other ones that are like unique color stories, I don't really care that much for. They just don't draw my attention. I'm also because I'm so pale, I don't want to wear a bright pink highlighter. I rather have something more subtle that has like a duochrome flash of pink. That's what I just prefer. It's what looks better on me and plus I love using that stuff as eyeshadow. Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I've tried the mini before. It's honestly I do really like it. I just have to watch when my acne is bad. I sh can't use it plus if that's a little weird you know. If your acne is bad to use a blurring stick that you have to you know, put on like stick sunscreen. Um, but I do like it, so I would buy the full size if I had extra dinero. Um, the Kush Milk Up, Kush Milk Up? Mm. The Kush Mascara, same thing. Tried the mini before, love it. So if I had extra cash, the full size. At the time of filming this, I haven't fully decided if I'm canceling ABH. I'm walking the fine line of uh, probably gonna cancel them, but um, yeah, well, I'll talk about that and internalize that at a later date. So the Norvina palette is still up on here because I still want that palette. Next, I have a set because this is something that I would like to get eventually one day. So, uh, might as well. And that's from Fenty and that's the mini eyeliner and the mini primer. The only reason I want to get them full size is because mini eyeliners pretty much last the same amount of time as a full size sometimes I found um, like and also mini eye primer because when's the last time I've used a full eye primer I haven't used a eye primer in like a year I do not need another full size eye primer um, especially another expensive full size eye primer so next is the Fenty bronzer in in the sun yeah in the sun so I'm pretty sure that's the lightest one. I would love to try it. It's still something I want to try, but I don't think she has many of this shade yet. Another thing from Fenty, another, the face primer. Want to try it. Her concealer in 100 because I think I'm a, I feel like I'm a lighter shade in her um, line. I was wearing 110 as a foundation, 
but I think I need something uh, different. So I would get a concealer in a different color. The Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I've never actually tried this. I've tried the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which was uh, too dark for me. So if I had extra coin, I would try the full size milk chocolate one to see if it's actually worth the hype. Um, and next thing is something that I've kind of been debating buying anyway. So if I had this money, I would, you know, buy it. And that is from uh, Pat McGrath. And that is a trio of lipsticks. So they're all pretty nude colors. But what really suckers me in is the packaging. I would love to line them up as little collector's pieces. I would use them, but like just have them out at all times like that. I want that. Now the next two things are all from Kaja. Uh, I don't think Kaja is actually cruelty free. That's something that's heavily debated. There's no, like no one can get true definite answers. So we're gonna put three things from Kaja and if they turn out to not be cruelty free, it's not the end of the world. I'll just buy from an indie company if I'm still craving something like these. So the first one is the Hella Azalea and it's a pink shimmer, a pink matte, and then a purple matte. Gorgeous. The next one is Poppy Champagne and it's a shimmer orange, a like matte coral and a matte red. Gorgeous. And then the other one is Sparkling Rose and it's all sparkly berry tones. So I love them all. Um, as you can see, I'm not a neutral type of person. If I had a lot of money, I would be buying the bright, pretty stuff. Um, another thing from ABH, the only Norvina palette that has tempted me and currently the only one in stock. Um, if the second or third one were in stock, they probably would have been on this list too. I'm not going to lie to you, but the, they're not in stock because they went on sale. Next, I have the Fenty foundation in the shade 110. If I had extra coin, I would rebuy it. Um, since I now can support Kendo Vegan Beauty, I've always wanted to try the Locket Foundation. So I think my shade would be L42 Neutral, so I would get that. I would try a pomade for once. I've never tried a pomade before, so I would try the Kendo Vegan Beauty one because it is a great pomade from what I've heard. Next, I would rebuy the concealer. I haven't used that concealer for like, oh, two, three years now, but I remember liking it in the shade Light 5. I would buy the um, Blush Duo from Patrick Ta um, in the shade, ooh, she's different. So it's a cream and a powder mauve tone blush. That would be something new for me. Well, not the mauve tone blush, but the fact that it's a cream blush and a powder is Patrick Tasso's bougie um, but yeah that would be something different for me and then also this lipstick I've had saved from him in the oh she's single because I was really I really like that shade next is a nice little duo it's the brown and black just the tattoo liners um, I was trying to make sure it wasn't like the dagger or the other ones from Kendo Vegan Beauty but yeah um, I would like to try to wear brown eyeliner, but I don't own any at the moment. Next, this item. This item I've been wanting for at least two years now, but I always forget about it because before Melt came to Sephora, you could only get it from MeltCosmetics.com. And like I said before, I don't shop from individual brand websites unless it's an indie company just because I forget. I'm forgetful with that. Um, the Baby Girl Stack. Now, I know it has mixed reviews, I know some people say it's not worth the hype, but I can't get it out of my head. I can't. I want it. Um, I'm not that attracted to many Melt Cosmetics palettes. A lot of them are gorgeous and I respect them, but I don't feel like I need them. The Baby Girl Sack and also the La Vida palette, if it was in stock, it would be in the cart because <laughs> those I would love. Those I would love. Those speak to me. Um, next is the Becca First Light Priming Filter Face Primer. So originally I had the mini in the cart, but then I was like, I can't keep putting minis in as if I'm actually buying it. This is a fantasy cart, so I would put in the big boy. Um, because I do like this primer. I tried the mini, really liked it. I want to eventually repurchase a mini 
but um, I haven't done that yet. Okay, next I threw in the Jumbo Urban Decay Setting Spray. Not gonna lie, it's a practical thing, but also to hit the thousand. I didn't even hit the thousand, I'm off by a little bit. Next is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. I guess I'm the shade 8B, 8B porcelain, porcelain Beige. I We can't shade match me. My shade, paper. But this foundation, I've always wanted to try. I wanted to try it, what, this foundation came out in what, 2014, 2015, 2016? This foundation is a older foundation, and I've always wanted to try it and just haven't yet. Um, I was always told, this is the best foundation to use for prom, and then I would forget to buy it for prom. So this is something that I, I wear full coverage stuff because um, I still got the acne. So I would be down to wear it. So if I had the money, I would finally buy it. The Milk Hydro Grip Primer I really like. I'm using the mini right now. So if I had $1,000, I would buy the big boy. So the second to last thing is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I've never tried anything from Hourglass. I kind of forget that they're cruelty free because they're so uh, expensive. So if I had some extra coin, I would honestly probably just buy the palette because I wouldn't know what shade to get for myself. So I would just buy the little palette and see. And then the last thing is the Huda Beauty Obsessions eyeshadow palette in Nude Rich. Now I know that this palette is not particularly designed for my pasty skin. It was made for beautiful women with melanin. But um, I don't like the colors in the light one and I don't like the colors in the, I think the other one's just called medium. Um, I, it's not what I gravitate towards. The colors in this are rich as they should be and very nice and beautiful and like the deep berries and reds i that's the colors i like so that's the one i would buy i wonder if sephora can like see all of us just filling up our carts and then just taking everything out and i wonder if it like annoys them but yeah that's what i would buy if i could buy everything from my sephora fantasy cart i'm not making any makeup orders anytime soon so this was kind of just like some window shopping and thought processing. So yeah, if you enjoy me and you enjoy apparently my TV just doing whatever it wants in the back, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and all that jazz and peace out Girl Scout.